In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to make your testing appointment if you're going to be taking your module test in person at one of the college testing centers. First, I want to make sure that you go to our Canvas course and that you go through the online testing page because it does include a lot of information about uh, testing in our course. So here we go to the online testing page. You see that there are two ways to take your module tests for our course. You're either going to test in person, which is the highly preferred method at one of our testing centers at the college campuses, or you can test at home using an online proctoring tool, ProctorU. But this video will focus on how to make your in-person testing appointment. You're going to go to the link provided, which is the link to the college testing center site. And once you get to the testing center site, you're going to click on math online testing. And you're going to select the campus that you want to test at. It didn't quite work. Here we go. So let's say you want to test at the South Lake campus. You're going to scroll to the date that you would like to make the appointment uh, for. So let's say, for instance, you want to make the appointment for Monday, January 30th. Make sure that it falls within the testing window in our course calendar. There are three testing days total, and two of them are for in-person, two of them are for online, and one of those dates overlaps. Um, but this is an example. You'll see that there are three appointment blocks, one starting at 9 a.m., another starting at 1 p.m., and another starting at 5 p.m. This will be true for the South Lake campus. For the Leesburg campus, the later appointment starts at 4.30 p.m. and goes till 7.30. For the morning and early afternoon appointments, even though it shows you a three-hour window, you are expected to arrive and be ready to start testing by 9 a.m. or by 1 p.m. respectively. So it is not that you can arrive at any time during the testing window. You are expected to be there at the beginning. So either right at nine or right at one. The only exception to that rule is for this late afternoon slash evening appointment block. Because we do have working students who aren't able to come to campus until the evening hours, uh, this is the only time block where students are allowed to arrive earlier than the beginning. Um, you do need at least an hour and a half to get situated and take your test. So even if you um, need to arrive late, we um, do ask that you arrive no later than an hour and a half before closing. So for example, for this particular time block, you would need to arrive by no later than 6.30 p.m. Uh, for the evening slots that start at 4.30 p.m. Um, in Leesburg and close at 7.30, you would have to arrive no later than 6 p.m. If you are going to be arriving late during this evening appointment block, you do need to state that when you make your appointment. So let's assume that we are going to try to make an appointment on this date, on this campus, during that evening time slot. Then you're going to choose the time slot and you see that nothing is happening here. So what you need to do is once you choose the time block, you're going to scroll down to the bottom. See how it turned yellow? That means it's pending. And you're going to go to where it says submit times. You're going to read through all of the information on this page. It is all very important. It tells you what to bring, what you cannot bring. Um, really important that you do bring your, your cell phone because you will need to verify your account when you sit down at a computer station. Then you're going to complete this page with your information. And right here where it says appointment notes, that's where you can indicate to the test proctor that you will be arriving late. If you're using that evening time slot and need to arrive late, you were going to tell them what time you're going to be arriving. Again, this is not an option for the 9 a.m. or the 1 p.m. appointments, only for the evening appointment. Um, once you hit on submit my booking, you will um, get a confirmation by email and then you're going to upload that confirmation into um, our Canvas course via assignments. So let me remind you um, how to do that. So if you go to assignments in our course, you'll see that there is a section 
for you to submit your testing appointment confirmation. So when you click here, you're going to enter your confirmation information. And that's for me to know in advance who is testing when and where to help me troubleshoot issues as they may arise. Finally, I want to remind you that after you complete your test, that you will need to upload your written work. Um, and this is true even for your in-person appointments. So the test proctors on campus know that after you submit your test in my math lab, that you will need to scan and upload your written work for my course. And so you're gonna upload that here.